Hi there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today the focus on William Gebauer. U.S. Olympic trials were held this past weekend in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. William is from Milwaukee, big guy, about 6'2", 180, 190 pounds, pretty strong, big guy. And he's brought that strength and determination to skating for a long time. Since about 2008, I think he started back with the West Dallas Speed Skating Club, training with Ethan Seperon in Milwaukee, and Eric Seperon was coaching him for a long time, Jonathan Tobon, all these guys. So within the U.S., a great cohort of young skaters. He's only 22 and has a lot of potential. He's one of those guys who's right on the edge of greatness, and he needs to make some adjustments. So I wanted to go through this because it's, a, it's, it's like a before picture in a way, but it's also a great story. So let's watch this. So very powerful. You can see that already. So it's just great. He's, you know, he's, he's one of those guys who's a middle distance guy, not necessarily a sprinter, not an all rounder, just right there. And this is the greatest race in speed skating, in my opinion. So, as far as the opener goes, see, he's utilizing all his strength. He's big, he's strong, but he's wide. So, these are things, lateral compression we've talked about, we've talked about not breaking the line. He's doing that, but he's still going 147.8 in Milwaukee. So, and so there's a lot of good here. This is a really good start to a really great line. However... We see this is out. Therefore, he's not on this as early as he needs to be and can't turn it over as fast. But good knee drive, etc., but just too wide. But he has a great opener, and his corners are better than his straightaways. Eric Seperon coached these guys for a long time, and he really worked on their turns, and their turns were just really good. So it's pretty much one skate, really good lateral compression in the corner, and that's where, he, that's where William gets all his pressure and all his speed. And notice when that skate comes down right, really nice angle. Just great lines in the turn. So lots and lots of potential because just natural strength, look at that. Just a natural skater. And you want to see that little curl here, that means he's on that right right away, and he is. So just excellent opener. But we can see here, he's, he's obviously been watching Emery, Lehman, Joey Mantia, you know, Thomas Crow, all these great skaters around the world and trying to improve his skating. Staying a little long with this, which puts this right blade down just a little early which means it's going to be harder for him. He's going to take, see that little time, it takes him a little bit of time to get on that right, and now he's there, and now there's a straddle and there's a middle. So despite all his great strength and, and talent and training, it's compromised because he's in the middle. Look where his chin is, his head is, relative to his blade. So that's something, and again, it cleans up as you move. However, it becomes late, and that's what separates 147 from 144, is toss yourself out over here. Looks like William is not quite confident enough to just abandon this push and toss himself out there. When he does that, he will have exact pressure when he needs it. It's all physics. And again, a little bit of breaking line here, breaking line here. And he's doing the best he can. I mean, he gets a nice rest phase through here and really on top of the blade. So his direction down the, the track is very good. Two arms up is nice. But you can just see how wide this is. If he were to move this way earlier, keep this line straight, those two would work together, and then he'd come on this blade right away and be done. As it is, it takes him a little more time than usual for the best to get on that skate. Right to left is better than left to right. You can see this here. 
It's just kind of lazy left to right, but right to left is good. So uh, just a great, great skate from William Gebauer, 147.88. Blue is, yeah, I mean, to go under 150 and then to 147 is just a great triumph for this young man. So lots of potential. Corners are great. Straightaways need work. Um, but so good to see this young man come through and have a great trials. And we'll see you next time in Speed Skating Deconstructed what makes the skater great.